Father is sharing his family's harrowing experience after a tornado flipped their trailer several times early yesterday morning. Bryce Richardson broke down in tears thinking about how close he came to losing his wife and children. They were inside their travel trailer in the Fort Bend County town of Beasley when the twister hit. And Ailey Ruiz has the exclusive and emotional interview. The trailer was sitting here. Um, it's, it's a 40 foot trailer and then the, that wind hit us this way. We rolled at least five times to get from here. Bryce Richardson is still shaken after a tornado tore into their travel trailer Tuesday morning. His wife woke him up when she heard it coming. Got up and I stood in the living room and it was just like a, like a freight train, you know, right, right on us. Bryce says it felt like they were tossed into the air like a piece of cardboard. I remember the first couple of rolls and just getting banged around. And then the next thing I knew, I was just under a lot of debris underneath the trailer. He got up and frantically began looking for his family, but it was just too dark. I used the, the light from the lightning flashes to try and search and find a way in to find my babies. His mother-in-law and sister-in-law were staying in a cabin just a few feet away, untouched by the tornado. He ran towards them for help. He says they found his four-year-old daughter underneath a mattress here. His seven-year-old son was in the grass, but his anxiety grew as he couldn't find his wife and his two-year-old son. They were pinned between the roof and, and our, our queen-size mattress, and then just tons of like just you know wood debris stacked on top of the mattress. She was she was tucked back in here clutching our two-year-old. They were all taken to the hospital. Bryce has over 60 plus cuts and an eye injury. His wife, Sonia, suffered a broken back. His seven-year-old son had a laceration to his face. His youngest son and daughter escaped with only bumps and bruises. Everyone is expected to recover. Even the two dogs and chickens made it. The potential for losing everybody, my whole family, I just can't even comprehend how any of us survived this. And although they're left homeless, he's overwhelmed with a sense of relief and believes angels were watching over them. My youngest two-year-old just keeps telling us that God saved us. It's the truth. It's, it's the only explanation here. Oh, he left it open. Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.